We did something this weekend we almost never do. So we went camping in an actual campground. Check this out. So today we're gonna to talk about how to have fun. Let's say you're on an overlanding trip and halfway in between the two places that you need to go, the only place to sleep is a KOA campground. It's not like it's the funnest place on earth. There's not generally tons to do there. So what do you do to occupy your time? We're gonna walk you through our favorite games and things that we do when we are camping in maybe not the most adventurous and exciting place. So here we go, let's jump into the games. Okay, so the first game right off the bat, and probably my favorite, and also super inexpensive, I'll leave a link down below in the comments. Get a set of throwing knives and throwing axes. These things will occupy hours of your time. When you're camping in the campground, it's a good idea to actually bring your target with you. Um, the cool thing about these is they aren't actually sharp. I mean, you wouldn't want to throw them, you wouldn't want to be the target getting thrown at, but they aren't sharp, like it's not going to cut your finger on the sides or anything. So everybody should be a safe distance behind the thrower. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that's not intuitive with them. For example, you don't want them to rotate really fast. It's actually much harder to stick it when it rotates really fast. You want it to rotate slow, so you actually don't throw from the end of the knife. Uh, you and, and even the axe, you, you throw from the middle and it, that will cause it to rotate slower. And the way that they're weighted, it'll cause it to stick a lot more. Um, same thing, funny thing about these axes, you would think you would throw it, you know, like this, but you actually point this end forward and your odds of sticking it literally triple. Um, yeah, so ax throwing and knife throwing seriously is a great way to pass the time. It's super fun when you finally start to get it down and it actually starts to stick on a fairly regular basis, even if you're not hitting the target. It's very exciting. Go out and get yourself a set of throwing axes and throwing knives and uh, start having more fun at your campsite. Okay, so next game up, there's a lot of names for this game out there. But the general idea is you have something like this, like a trash can on top, slot in the middle, pops up, whole entire thing packs down flat. Um, and goes into one tiny flat packed case. So it takes up very little room. You have one on each side. You have teams that are throwing Frisbees and they're either trying to hit it for one point. Um, if you float it over and your partner smacks it in to the top, that's why it's called can jam sometimes, uh, you jam it in there. Uh, then you get three points. And generally we've always played that if you make it through the slot, it's game over, you win. It's a really fun game to play with a bunch of adults. My kids play it. The other thing is now you have Frisbees with you. So if you don't want to play can jam and you don't want to keep score, you can always just throw a Frisbee around. Probably cost you under 20 bucks. Fantastic camping site game. We love it. Okay, so the next game up. This is bocce ball. Now, you all know bocce ball probably. You throw the small one, you try to get as close as possible. There's different ways to keep score. So you throw out the white one, then everyone else throws out their other, whoever's closest, they cancel each other out. It's kind of like cornhole, but not having to carry a board. Now, one other thing that makes this cooler than cornhole is this set actually has batteries. Um, so they light up, so you can play when it's pitch dark outside. But the other thing that is funny about this set is 
We like going to hot springs. Uh, we live in Idaho, so there's hot springs everywhere. So if you go to a hot spring at 10 o'clock at night when it's dark, you can, these are actually waterproof. So you're gonna actually turn them all on. They float, because they're hard, hard plastic. Just toss them all into a hot spring, and now you have night lighting in a hot spring, and they're great. So, I guess you could say it's bocce ball that kind of doubles as weird tea lights. I don't know. Rainy day crowd. What are you gonna do when you don't wanna get soaking wet, you're stuck under your awning, and you want to be able to do something for fun that will pass the time? Obviously, the answer is playing cards because they don't use up a lot of space. Um, there happens to be a set that I really like that as soon as I'm gonna show it, everybody's gonna groan because as a childhood, we were all traumatized probably from playing this game. Um, so this game is called Monopoly Deal. Uh, don't think of Monopoly. Like I said, everybody will groan when I say that. Um, it is not Monopoly at all. It takes about 10 to 12 minutes to play an entire hand. So it's not hours and hours and terrible. Um, so yeah, this is a great game. I love it. Obviously other card games work as well, but if you've never played this, it takes about one hand to learn how to play it. And then it takes about, I don't know, literally like a year to probably master. And look at how small it is. It only takes up this much space. Well, that about sums up um, our games. Hey, I would love to hear from you guys in the comments. What are your favorite games that you play when you're camping to pass the time? when you can't be hiking or fishing and all the other things that we love to do. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you got a couple ideas on what you could pack in your Overland kit for when you get stuck someplace where there's not necessarily a ton to do. And uh, yeah, throw us a like, subscribe. We've got more videos coming out on gear and uh, trips and a bunch of other stuff. So thanks for tuning in. Have a good one.